Hey guys, want to impress your friends? Follow these moves and learn how to human flag. The flag is a great display of strength in the core and the upper body, but it might not be as difficult as it looks. Sure, it may take time and effort to build up to being able to unlock the move, but these exercises I'm sharing with you in this video, I've used with myself and with clients, and you should do the same if you want to be able to achieve it. Three crucial things you'll need to human flag is the strength in the pull of the top arm, strong obliques on the top side, and the pushing strength of the bottom arm. With these exercises, we're working on creating a strong base with the top arm as we pull the shoulder girdle down into the rib cage. So we're starting off with a pull up. Not only does it build good pulling strength, but we can also start to work on the depression of the shoulder girdle, which is important with the human flag. So with this version, at the bottom of the range, pull the shoulders down into the rib cage, hold for a second or two, and then pull up. This will work the shoulder depressors, which is very important when we do the human flag, so it prepares us for this. Next up, starting with a dead hang, we can then focus on one arm at a time and concentrate on the depression of the shoulder girdle. Once again, pull the shoulder down into the rib cage, hang on one arm, even if it's for a few seconds, change arms and repeat on the other side. Pull the shoulder down. So this time we're getting more isolation in that one side. This exercise can also be done with a resistance band, which is obviously going to assist the exercise and take some of the body weight off. Progressing on further from that is the angle hang, which is almost like a half human flag. So it starts to train the body to get into that movement. Again though, mainly focusing on the top arm. This bar that I used was quite hard to hold, but that all adds to the grip strength challenge. Now for the pushing strength needed for the bottom arm, try these exercises. Starting off, we got the basic overhead press with a barbell, although with this one, I'm gonna hold at the top of the movement and tuck the pelvis underneath. You can see from the side that I get a good range of motion and I'm almost taking the bar behind me. That will help to increase the mobility of the shoulder joint, which is important for the human flag. And then also good handstand drills can help for the human flag. So whether you do it with your back against the wall or stomach against the wall, it's all gonna help the closed chain pushing movement. This next one now we're getting more specific on the pushing movement at the angle that we would be in in the human flag. Bottom hand will be palm facing up using these bars or on a vertical bar, thumb facing down towards the floor. I'm using a step. You can change the height of the step to get different angles. Obviously make sure you do it on both sides to train both sides evenly. And then if you want to go really high with the step, Concentrate on pushing away, but you can also work the top arm by pulling down. The human flag looks impressive and it will certainly wow your friends and other gym goers. It provides a great opportunity to get some good photos. Whilst it may seem impossible, it certainly is achievable. I've been working with a few clients now to help get them up to the human flag status. One of whom is 55, so if he can do it, then maybe you can do it too. Plus it gives you a sense of satisfaction when you set yourself a goal and you achieve it, there's not much better. Next up, we've got the exercises for the obliques. This one was actually taken from my website, hence why you can see me talking in the video. So you got a sneak peek on what's involved in my human flag plan on there. It's actually a good one for the top arm as well. We're pulling the top arm down. As we lift the legs up, we're working the top side obliques. Obviously make sure you do the same on both sides as to keep things even. And then also I've got the Boso Ball Crunch. You can do this with the feet up or the feet down on the floor if you need to. So it's just another good exercise to work, strengthen and condition the obliques. Once you've done the conditioning exercises and you've built adequate strength, now it's time to refine your techniques. 
Now we get down to the nitty gritty with these exercises. We'll look at grip. If you're using the horizontal bars, both palms will be facing each other. On the vertical bar, both thumbs pointing down towards the floor. So this is the flag dead hang. Take hold of the bars, lift the feet up behind. First of all, we're gonna do it facing the bars and just hold the position. And then we can do it side on as well. Lift the feet up behind and hold. And then when you get stronger and more comfortable in this position, you can then start to push away from the bars. So you're getting closer now to the horizontal position. Then we've got the toe taps. With this one, we're just gently lifting the feet up off the floor. We're trying to drive the top hip up towards the ceiling. Just a gentle bounce. This is my weakest side, but I have been working on it and it is slowly improving, but these exercises have definitely helped. Again, just a gentle bounce. Progressing on from that, we can do the kick up, which we kick up and get more height, try and meet the feet at the top with the legs in a straight line. Again, make sure you do both sides, kick up, meet the feet up at the top and aim to get the top hip up towards the ceiling. Keeping the upper body strong the whole time, push and pull. You can also use bands. So once you attach the band to the top bar, step your foot in the band, assume your position with the bottom arm and top arm, push, pull, and then kick away. And you might get a little hold with this, my flag here. It is a little low, and that's a sign of fatigue. Basically, I did a street workout earlier on in that day which involved muscle ups, monkey bars, lashes, and some human flag work. Normally when my flag gets a little low, that's when I know my body needs to rest. So it is important to understand that. With this type of training, you will be hammering your body hard, so rest is important. You can see with this flag as well, I'm slightly low. Maybe I'm being a little bit picky there, but I notice when it's off. So make sure you do too. And when that is the case, make sure you allow your body to recover so you can be stronger next time. So there's all the moves. Now all you need to do is put the work in and train to strengthen the body up to get up to the stage to be able to hold the human flag. My own personal journey is ongoing. I'm trying to hold the flag for longer. I continue to work on my weaker side. It may take time, but in the short term, you'll improve your pull-ups and your pulling strength. You'll also improve awareness around the shoulder girdle and you'll improve your muscle tone. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this was useful. Please check out the rest of my other videos where I've done other calisthenics workouts to help you along your journey. Please like, subscribe, and why not click on the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks again, I'll see you very soon on the next video.